And we're back. This is the Simon and Vinny podcast, part four, unintentional. As always, the unintentional part four. Yeah. We they were kind of short this week, though. They were like, there was like three 10 minute ones, and like, well, two 10 minute ones, and like a 15 one or something like that. Yeah, it was, a little, it was a little shorter than other weeks. All right. Other weeks, as in, we've done so many. So <laughs> I know. Now, you know, the last two weeks. But. <laughs> part three. Yeah. Um, okay, well, we're on to the song describing. Yeah. What song do you have any? Um, you said now. This is this is my knowledge of this as of now. Is that he told me I don't like this song. I'm gonna cut it halfway through, so it'll be real short. I don't know what song it is. He said it was number one on the iTunes this week, right? Number yeah. One. Um, I I like a lot of pop music, so if it's a song I like, I'm not gonna let you cut it. I mean, that's a, it's. I won't. I won't give up by Jason Mraz. I don't. How's that go? I don't know. I didn't listen to it yet. You haven't listened to it yet? I listened to the beginning. You're supposed to prepare a little bit. <laughs> I know, but I only listened to the beginning. I didn't like it. <laughs> you didn't like it? You don't even know how the end is. Maybe I don't, I don't know. Time. Maybe, maybe. Is that one Black Eyed Peas song where like I just can't switch up, and then they switch up, and it's like really great at the end? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jason Mraz. I haven't... What was his hits? Uh, he, that's, he saw Fireworks from a Freeway, Born on a Fourth of July. I don't know the song, though. Okay. That's the only lyrics I, I just know so those lyrics. This is a different one. This like his his single. Like this like the one like his hit. This is what made him is the one I'm talking about. Oh okay. I the fireworks freeway. Okay. I'm, I should be up on it. Yeah. But I'm probably still not gonna let you cut it. <laughs> All right. Well. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll let this go. You gotta really describe this well because I don't know it. Okay. So. Or I probably will know it, but like after you talk about it a little bit. It's just guitar right now. Okay. It's very soft. It's like a Christmas song. Is it a Christmas song? No, he's like doon 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 brown. <laughs> doon 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 brown. Like there's like a like two notes and then a chord. Okay. Repeated? Yeah, pretty much he's been doing the same thing since I started. Okay. Has he started talking yet? Yeah, now he's talking. He's singing about like looking into your eyes is like watching the night sky. Okay. And he says something about all the beauty sunrise. Okay. So it's a generic love song. Yeah, it sounds pretty generic. I think this is what turned me off on it in the first place. Because it's just guitar and him singing. So it's kind of like if he's in your bedroom. Like, I understand why the ladies might like this. Like Jason Mraz in your bedroom. Yeah. You know, serenading you. Have you gotten to the chorus, or did you like just hear the verse and just? This is no, I didn't get to the chorus. It's still the verse. Okay. It's really slow. Okay. Like kind of painful. <laughs> oh, it just kicked. There's like a piano now. Okay. He's like, I won't give up on us. <laughs> How's his voice? He says we won't give up on us even if the skies get rough. Okay. R- well, rough skies are something that pretty much everybody can deal with. I mean, that happens. Yeah, like. <laughs> I don't know. It says when you need your space. Okay, so it's a lot of like you know pillow talk kind of. Thing. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty generic. Yeah. It's not very good. I don't like this song at all because mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure what I just heard was the hook. Okay, now that we're a minute and forty three seconds into it, really? Yeah, <laughs> pop, pop music rule says it should hit the chorus within thirty seconds. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, I believe that that's the rule, but I don't believe everything. Yeah, I mean, that's the rule, but I don't... Th- I mean, I, I, don't, I don't even believe that that's... I just think Jason Mraz usually good. plays by the rules. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't... Clearly not. He's a bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> He'll talk sweet to you in the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, but it's just really slow guitar. Every once in a while, there's like a piano. Yeah. Are you past the point that you've heard up till now? What? Are you into like the section that you haven't heard yet? Yeah, I, he just had a little like post-chorus thing, mm. but it's still it's not catchy. It's just guitar, this didn't piano. This yeah, I'm surprised this was number one after "Sexy" and I know it was number one for weeks. We sh- really should have done that. I really love Ethel Method. See, I know you love it, and that's why I didn't do it because oh, I felt I that like you may have a bias. I do. <laughs> well, you clearly have a bias here. We don't have any problem with biases. <laughs> Somebody here has a bias against me having a bias. <laughs> So what's going on now? He just says, I won't give up well, on us. I won't give up on us. That's the hook. I won't give up on that's us. That's it. Get rough. That's why I wanted to like, cut this short, because that's all he like. No, you can't. 
It's not very. <laughs> it's pretty much over now. But oh, okay. he won't give up on us or love. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and there, there's no beat. There's no beat. It's just him playing guitar, which I think is strange. Usually, songs nowadays that are big have a beat. I mean, there's some that are just guitar. Yeah. I think what was it? The Green Day song like really kind of started that, I guess. Probably that's didn't kinda, start it, but that was the first one I remember. That's kind of old, though. It is, but I'm saying that that was like when it would became acceptable to not have a beat in your pop song. Yeah. <laughs> He just ends a cappella. He just says, I won't give up on us. Mm-hmm. And he sings it real slow. He's yeah. like getting all emotional about it. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, if, you, if, it's, if you're, it's an emotional song, you have to be emotional about it. Yeah, but it wasn't really. It was kind of, it was pretty boring. <laughs> pretty boring, but it was number one. So, you know, all you out there who downloaded that, it's your fault that that was number one. It's yeah. LMFAO. I blame all of you why I just had to review this song. Mm-hmm. But LMFAO was actually, it dropped down number three this week. Mm. There's Jason Mraz and then, I don't know what is above it, Maroon 5 maybe. Maroon 5? Rihanna. I like, I like Maroon 5. I don't know. I never bought a Maroon 5 album, but I kind of regret that I never bought a Maroon Yeah, I like Maroon 5. It's that, that funky rock kind of stuff. Yeah, it's like... It's, it's Most of their songs always have that kind of like breakbeat drum so uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's kind of like the most commercial funk rock right. that you could possibly <laughs> listen to. But and I, I like respect that. that. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> All right. Well, and what was the name of it again? I won't give up on uh, us. Yeah, I won't give up on us by Jason Mraz. All right. I feel like I should have heard that, but. If it was number one, why isn't it on the, the radio? I listen to the radio all the time. I don't know. I would think it would be. It sounds like it's kind of like maybe like a Q104 thing. Like I listen a, to Q104. <laughs> well, I, I don't switch know. between that and other stuff. But yeah, I, don't I only know. listen to like top 40 stuff on the radio. and I do that a lot. So. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't sound like anything on the radio. Like something that would be on the radio. It sounds yeah. like something weird. Plain White Tees. They do a lot of like acoustic songs without beats. Oh yeah, uh, what's that like? Hey Delilah, hey, Delilah. or something. They yeah. got a new one too. That's like "Marry Me." <laughs> you know, have you heard that one? No. Uh, well, it's it's pretty much like the exact same thing, but like, kind of like how you're talking about with, where like the progression should be like the end of the story. It's like kind of like the story progression from "Hey Delilah." <laughs> All right. I think that's playing white tees. That might be an entirely different band. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. How long is have we been going? Uh, long enough for uh, this V that. Yeah. And then maybe maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. All right, we'll just jabber a little bit. All right, well, this V that this week is pretty lame. <laughs> I've, I've been having trouble thinking of this V that. So people need to comment and leave me some is it, suggestions. It's not goblins versus ghouls, is it? No, that's what I was thinking. Is I last week I did ghosts versus ghouls. This week I was thinking maybe gremlins versus ghoul, or <laughs> gremlins versus goblins. But that was too similar, so I'm not going to do that. So this week it is uh, canned peas v. frozen corn. Ooh. <laughs> I would have to go with canned peas. I really don't like frozen vegetables, ever, especially like corn. Like, right, and that's where, the, where the, the, the balance is shifted, though, is because corn is better than peas. Yeah, I hate peas, but... But uh. you just prefer canned to frozen that much more than you prefer corn to peas yeah i eat a lot of canned <laughs> food i don't know about how much frozen food i eat yeah but uh, i guess i've never really had like fresh peas yeah maybe it i'd sounds like sounds like a big hassle to prepare <laughs> like i've never cooked peas yeah do they come out of a pod like do you cook the pod and then get the peas know. out or is I it something that. different i've had green beans you, can, you know you know you can cook fresh green beans yeah but those are still in the pod so. yeah but, oh what yeah corn it's good beans think, beans are kind of confusing because they're like mm-hmm. there's green beans that are like long and green and then there's like kidney beans which are a little right well green beans have, are more peas than beans what well uh, what i think i think they're pretty are. semantical either way i don't like peas no. or corn like cor- but you, i like corn. like corn i don't really like corn but i like corn more than peas no well, corn is good corn is like ultra american i think it is, but because everything, even if you don't eat corn, you're eating corn. Mm. But like corn is like one of those like really native to North America kind of things. I mean, well, not native, but I think there's in South America too. But I've, I've, I think I've heard it's, and this is going to make me sound so ignorant, but it's either seventy percent or ninety percent. It's it's an odd number up towards the top of the ten. Seventy uh, percent or ninety percent of the world's corn comes from North America. 
That makes sense because I feel like we probably like ship corn to England and stuff. Mm-hmm. With their... one of those things like post Columbus, they found tobacco and they found corn. And yeah. since then, like the world has gone nuts for corn and tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and and what's what's on a really American food that isn't like a completely like just you know pr- uh, assumed food from another culture. Yeah, uh, like you know hamburgers or you know they had ham everywhere else. They had, it's probably a German thing. I guess, all yeah, I, th- I think hamburgers are German. Maybe I mean hot dog. Hot, I don't know about hot dogs. Hot dogs, I don't know, but but like kraut or not so not kraut, but like but like Wiener Schnitzel. Wiener Schnitzel is a German thing. Yeah, I mean I like sausages, sausages in general. Or, yeah, because a hot dog's a lot like a sausage. Right. I don't I don't know what the difference is except maybe it's cheaper. Yeah, like maybe a sausage is made out of one part of the animal and a hot dog is made out of many parts. Yeah, I don't know. I was a vegetarian for 18 years. I, I'm just new into the world of meat. Yeah, well, how do you feel about sausage? I like sausage. I do. I like hot dogs, too. Like when I was living on my own and just like really poor, that was a great thing. That was just like a really poor person food. Yeah, hot dogs are great. Yeah, Sausages are a little more expensive. Yeah, and they take longer to prepare. You can't like a mm-hmm. hot dog you put in the microwave. A sausage, you kind of got to cook for a while. Mm. But all right, uh, so that was this week's This Be That. It was uh, canned peas v. frozen corn. And yeah. Vinny, Vinny picked uh, canned peas. If you disagree like I disagree, because corn is way better than canned, you know. Like, <laughs> I mean, I got Despite gotta... the disadvantage in, in its preparation, I, I still prefer corn over any kind of pea. <laughs> I got to eat. I could only eat, like, locally grown corn, like, locally fresh. Grown, okay. Yeah. Like, I have to have okay. corn from, like, within 20 miles of my house. Okay. Or I can't so you can it. go meet Vinny out at the farmer's market every week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So, yeah. Canned peas. Uh, so I guess that's it for this week. Yeah, that's it. Thank I you. Think we're, thanks for listening. Uh, hopefully this goes up soon. Yeah. Sometime. Sometime today. Friday. Okay. Friday? Yeah. Well, we're already into like Saturday, aren't we? No, it's only 10.30. It's 10.30? Okay. 10.30 on Friday we're recording this because Vinny had to go and prepare for an interview so we couldn't do it Wednesday. Yeah. Vinny's fault. I got grown-up stuff. Right. Even though I had to like completely rearrange my work schedule last week to make sure that we were good. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, uh, and like, I know yeah, your dilemmas, you know, but, you, uh, you know. got interviews are more important to you because you don't have a job. Yeah, exactly. Well, you don't have a, a, a grown-up job. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, so thank you. Uh, we'll be back uh, next week. Yeah, with more lasers, lasers, computers, lasers. Oh, oh, you missed it up. I missed it. I missed the <laughs> lasers, laser, lasers, I? lasers, computers, lasers. Three right. three lasers, one computer, another laser. Yeah, or the Simon and Vinny podcast. Simon or, and Vinny podcast. Or the Vinny and Simon podcast. Vinny and Simon podcast. If you prefer Vinny to be top billing, leave a comment. Uh, otherwise, you know, if you say nothing, that just makes me reassured that i'm more awesome than Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> so for all you people leaving nothing thank you <laughs> all right uh good night yeah good night